Hi Bowl Bakers! My best ever brownie recipe is the most popular on my website. Now, in my opinion, the only thing better than a brownie is a blondie. So what is a blondie? Well, it's kind of like a brownie's cousin, but it's made with white chocolate and butterscotch. The recipe for this blondie can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. And let me just tell you, this is the best recipe I have ever come across. You're going to love it. Okay, let's get started in a nice big bowl. So first things first, some lovely melted butter. I like to use Irish butter because it's really lovely dark color and it has salt in it too, so it's extra tasty. So now a key ingredient in blondies is brown sugar. Now this is what makes them lovely and gives them that butterscotch flavor. Now if you don't have brown sugar, remember you can always make it really simply and I've got a recipe on my website, but it is an absolute must for this recipe. So here I have a whisk and all you want to do is just mix these together. So now our next ingredient are eggs. Now here's the deal. If you do not eat eggs, don't worry. You can always substitute these for flax eggs and it will work really well. And remember, you can always check my egg substitute chart as well. That's really handy. And then for a little bit of extra flavor and because I love it so much, we're going to add in some vanilla extract. And then in with your whisk and mix it all around. This recipe could not be simpler. All done in the one bowl with a handful of ingredients. So into our butterscotchy mix, I'm going to add in some flour and some salt. And then last but not least, the star of the show, white chocolate chips. These are super important and really tasty. Okay, so with your whisk, we're just going to mix in the flour until it's just combined. Take care not to overmix because it will toughen your blondie. I'm gonna switch to a spatula so I don't overmix it. Okay, this is looking delicious. Oh, it's like salty and butterscotchy. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna put it into our tin. So for blondies and brownies, you usually need an eight by eight tin. This is a must for any bold baker. And I'm gonna put a link on my website of where I got mine. Okay, so that's lovely and spread out. Now, lastly, to finish it off, I'm gonna add a few chocolate chips on top just to make sure that everybody gets enough. Okay, lovely. You would not believe the weight of these. These are gonna be some hardcore blondies. These guys are ready now to go into the oven. Bake your blondies off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 30 to 35 minutes. So the secret to a brilliant blondie is you don't want to over bake it. So check it around the 30 minute mark and see if they need to come out. So my kitchen smells absolutely amazing. These are perfectly cooked. They're nice and brown on top and there's still a slight little bit of give underneath, which means they're nice and gooey in the middle. Now I'm gonna set these aside, let them cool down completely and then we can cut them. So I'm gonna cut these three by three because this is bigger, bolder baking after all. However, you can cut them whatever size you like. Oh my gosh. Just as I'm cutting them, I can feel how thick they are. Okay, so come here to me. This is the reason why I call them the best ever blondies. Check that out. Serious, gooey, butterscotchy center. The absolute must in a blondie. This is going to be legit. So this awesomeness going on over here, this is why I said be careful with your baking. You don't want to over bake it, otherwise you won't get this. So when it comes to blondies, I like to go big or go home. I serve them warm with some vanilla ice cream on top and a generous drizzle of caramel sauce. <laughs> oh man, hands down, one of my favorite desserts. Perfection. Mm. When it comes to eating brownies or blondies, heat them up a little bit to make that center lovely and soft and all gooey again. This tastes almost like a white fudge, like butterscotch, white chocolate, vanilla, and it has the exact texture that you love in a brownie, but it tastes like a blondie. The blondie is kind of crisp on the outside, but still so soft in the middle. And then those little chunks of chocolate chips are like little surprises on the inside. I really want you to try this recipe because I just know it's gonna become a fan favorite. The recipe can be found on my website and I will see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.